guys welcome to my youtube channel i video updates if you don't know me i'm rakesh nengi and i'm an animation enthusiast in today's session i'm going to discuss about rtow charts rtow charts so here we'll be discussing about the basic introduction and what all things are given in the rtow charts and what is the purpose of rtow charts okay so friends you must be knowing that the flights are happening almost every day and for that the pilots are very much occupied and in this if i talk about the takeoff flight preparation the pilots they need to do repetitive flight planning right however as a part of takeoff flight planning the pilots need to perform the calculations of the rtow that is the regulatory takeoff weight so in order to determine the regulatory takeoff weight the pilot should be provided with some data which will allow them to make quick calculations whichever are related to the takeoff flight planning especially the calculation of the maximum permissible takeoff weight and other performance calculations which will come across in my upcoming sessions so the determination of the performance calculations for takeoff or landing can be made by using the ground systems or onboard computerized systems in this if i talk about the charts which are called as rtow charts that is the regulatory takeoff weight charts these charts can be generated using some software okay so there are different types of software which can be used to generate these charts initially when airbus came up in 1980s they came up with a software program by the name tlc that is takeoff and landing performance computation okay or you can call it as tlc that is the takeoff and landing computation program so this program was used to generate the charts and based on that the performance calculations were made for takeoff and landing but now after that we are having another software okay which is called as octopus o c t o p u s octopus this octopus stands for operational and certified takeoff and landing performance universal software so this software has been used uh, to generate the rtow charts as well so in this session i'm going to show you an rtow charts and in that what all details are given and how the calculations are made using those charts it will be discussed in my upcoming sessions we'll be discussing how to use the rtw blue charts and make the performance calculations for takeoff okay so let's start so friends this is the rtw blue chart which we, i was discussing rtw stands for regulatory takeoff weight in order to make the takeoff performance calculations okay so this chart is used so on this chart let us see what all things are given so let's start from here so here at the top right corner you can see this is the aircraft model okay so here it's written as a320-214 this is the specification of the aircraft okay so this is this chart is specific to the aircraft not just this this chart is also specific to the engines airport and other things which we will discuss in some time so this is the engine specification as you can see cfm56-5b4 okay so likewise if there is any other type of engine like let's take an example ie engine so for that ie v2527-a5 engines will be written so likewise this chart can be published for any other type of engine so next thing which we have on this chart is the airport identification so you can see this is the airport identification this chart is for delhi airport and along with the airport identification here in this small box you can see the airport characteristics wherein we can have the elevation isa temperature runway slope okay all these things are given the tora toda and asda are also given on this uh, airport characteristics so also some important point is given like lineup distance is given like takeoff distance and accelerate stops distance is 30 meter and 30 meter here so both the distances are given here next uh, you can see runway heading is given here okay like 29 so this chart is specific to runway headings as well so for each runway heading there will be a specific chart so make sure you pick up the right chart while making calculations there are no obstacles as written here zero obstacle uh, next is dry dry means the calculations for the takeoff performance uh, will be based on the dry okay and here at the top right corner what you can see here this is the software code okay like 33 something you can see here 33.0.0 and also you can see the date here so this date is the date when this chart was computed next is this one this is the software version okay like v20 and the code of the software okay 
So this is the software version which has been used to compute this chart. This chart is generated from a software which is called as Octopus. So you can see this is the version of the software. Okay. So Octopus, as I have told you, it is operational and certified takeoff and landing universal software. So that software has been used to generate this chart. So on this chart, you can see there are uh, takeoff configurations given like config one plus F and config three. So these are the two configurations which are given on this chart. Likewise, in some charts, you may find config one plus F, config two and config three as well. So in this chart, only two configurations are given. And why are these configurations given here on this chart? It's because you have to calculate the optimum configuration for the takeoff. Okay. Next, what is given here is the wind information. So as you can see here, tailwinds and headwinds are given for each configuration. Like for config 1 plus F, these are the wind configurations. And for config 3, these are the wind configurations. Okay. Now, at the left side column, you can see there is a weight which is in thousands of kg. Okay. So these are the weights which are given here on this chart. Here in this box, there are some conditions which are given, okay, which are used in order to compute this chart that means this chart has been computed based on these conditions like qnh has been considered as 1013 decimal 25 hectopascal, hectopascal air conditioning off anti icing off all reversers operating dry check and no reversers on dry runway so all these conditions have been considered in order to make computations on this chart and i would like to highlight this dry check dry check here means that this chart will cater for the wet conditions as well so you don't need to use any other separate chart for making the wet corrections means the computations for wet also can be done using this chart itself okay next what you can see here is if you pull out a box let's see this box here what is given here so inside this box you can see uh, suppose your weight is 76 76 here it means 76 tons so if you go straight like this, okay, and suppose the winds are 10 knots, so this is the 10 knots had been column, so 76 and 10 knots had been column. So here we have uh, this box. So here within this box, some takeoff parameters are given, like what is it near is 0.3. Now what is the meaning of this 0.3? It means that this box has been computed for 76.3 tons, okay? So 76.3 tons uh, is what is considered for making computations for this uh, box. So here we have a temperature here 54 okay so 54 represents your box temperature so likewise in any other box you will find temperatures next to 54 you can see 3 slash 6 3 slash 6 stands for limitation codes okay or limit codes which is given at the bottom of the chart okay let's see it right now come down so here at the bottom of the chart you can see some limitation codes are given see one two three four five six seven eight nine so the meaning of each limitation code are given okay so let's go back to the same box 76 point uh, three tons so this three slash six represents the limit code so meaning of three and six limits limitation codes i have already shown you at the bottom of the chart next what are these one five six slash six nine and seven zero these are called as your v speeds okay so v speeds means the takeoff speeds so here 156 is your v1 then 69 how do we interpret here 69 is interpreted as 169 so 169 is your vr and 70 is interpreted as 170 so 170 is your v2 hence we have takeoff speeds or v speeds as 156 169 and 170 that is your v1 vr and v2 so i hope you are familiar with what are the contents of this particular box okay so we have the weight then we have the box temperature which is a kind of oat about this uh, box temperature i'll explain in my next video in which i'll explain how to make the computations or calculations using this chart okay next let's come down so likewise for all other boxes you can see uh, the values are given next uh, at this line thin line is there here so there is something called as grad 1 slash grad 2 corrections so here grad 1 and grad 2 these are the corrections uh, which are given in kg per celsius okay kg per this is in celsius means these are the corrections which are need to be applied uh, onto the weight whenever you are making calculation for the maximum permissible takeoff weight okay so how to apply these corrections that thing also we'll see in my next video when we'll be discussing about the mtow calculations 
so here you can see assisty slash 590 is written so these are the corrections which are need to be applied these are called as the grad corrections 60 is your grad 1 correction and 590 is the grad 2 correction okay how to apply these corrections on the maximum permissible takeoff weight calculations that we will see later on so right now i'm just telling you what is the meaning of this next below this line now starts your corrections so these are called as the influential parameters like one of them what is given here is runway condition okay so runway condition if it is wet these are the corrections which are need to be used so if the correction is about the qnh that is your delta pressure okay so that is your another influential parameter called as the delta pressure or change in the qnh okay so i have told you that for computation of this chart the qnh was given at the top of the chart right here so top of the chart the qnh considered is 1013.25 hectopascal but if on that particular day when you are making calculations if the qnh value is something else you need to apply the qnh correction based on this uh, corrections given here so whatever column is applicable to you you have to pick up that particular box and which correction you need to apply you have to choose that now in this correction also you have two parts upper part and lower part okay so i am picking up this box okay so upper part and lower part is there generally like in order to highlight the lower part in some charts you will see like shaded area will be there like this shaded area within this box you can see there is something called as plus 56 it's not necessary that every time it will be plus 56 this is basically a temperature which is called as tvmc okay and basically this is a temperature this is a fixious value if the temperature is greater than this value then your v speeds are near to your vmcg and vmca limitations okay so you have to apply these corrections accordingly how to apply these corrections that also will learn in my upcoming session next uh, this is another influential parameter that is your engine anti ice what is the condition given here anti icing only below oat 10 degrees so if the condition is below 10 degrees then you have to apply these corrections accordingly this also will learn how to apply the corrections as of now you should understand that these are the uh, corrections which you need to apply on the, the takeoff calculations make sure that whenever you apply these corrections you you follow this particular sequence first you apply this correction then this and this this is the order which you have to follow for applying the corrections also in addition to this chart you have to follow the corrections what are given in the fcom okay like you have to check the vmu limitation so in the fcom there is a chart okay wherein you can check the vmu limitation likewise some more corrections are given in the fcom okay which we will learn when we'll be making the calculation as of now again i tell you the same thing i'm just making you familiar with the rtl blue chart now what are these minimum v1 vr v2 values at the bottom of this chart like 112 118 and 121 whenever you are applying corrections on the v speeds that means when you apply decrements in the speeds okay applying corrections your speed value should not come below this okay so your speeds your v speeds are limited to these values next is your check vmu limitation which is done using the fcom next there is a correction v1 vr v2 this is the correction sometimes uh, there may be weights which will be lesser than the lowest value which is given this chart in that case we have to apply the corrections in this way here at the bottom of this chart is given one knot per thousand kg know that generally the charts are published for cg at 25 percent okay next what you can see here is minimum acceleration height and altitudes are also given here these two columns also one of the most important thing there is something called as t ref which is given here t ref is 43 degrees celsius and t max is 53 degrees celsius okay so this t ref okay for this particular delhi airport is given as 43 it may vary okay t max here is 53 degrees next vmc limitations whenever applicable they are um, highlighted by a shaded line here as like here you can see at this part of the chart some shaded lines are there that is applicable in these eight locations we have the vmc limitations Next, uh, what we have here is some legend is given here, like <clears throat> uh, within a particular box, what all details are given about this, the details are given here. So one of them is the temperature, that is your OAT, another one is your delta weight, okay, and then the limit codes, then we have the V speeds, so which I have already explained within a particular box. Next. For the influential parameters like this 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 okay uh, if i pick up a particular box there are four lines line one line two line three and line four so which corrections line one and line two corrections need to be applied or line three or line four correction need to be applied 
will be decided based on the temperature whether it is above TBMC or below TBMC. So for same way you have to apply the corrections for other uh, influential parameters. Suppose the, uh, the influential correction which was applicable for a particular calculation comes out to be in this particular box. So likewise if you have to apply correction uh, for the QNH you have to apply this uh, box corrections then for NTH you have to use this box okay so you have to come in this particular sequence so about the use of the corrections in the particular boxes okay we will be discussing soon what all things are given in a particular box details are given at this corner part of this chart where you can see so here we have DW means delta weight then delta flex temperature okay so here is the flex temperature here okay like in this box you have zero 0 and this, this is the change in weight there is a delta weight correction there is a flex temperature calculation then minus 3 is your v1 vr and v2 like minus 3 0 0 so this is your v1 vr and v2 so these are the corrections to be applied in the v speeds so this is your line 1 and line 2 so you may be required to apply correction from line 3 or 4 it depends whether your temperature is above or below TVMC. So friends, uh, I have shown you this RTW chart. Just have a quick look at this chart from top to bottom. So friends, I hope you have learned about the RTW charts and its usage. I'll come up again with a new topic in my next session. Till then, you enjoy learning this topic and thank you.